Hello everyone, I am Tarun Kausik and today in this lecture we will be continue with the complex analysis and today we will be uh, learning a new topic of uh, complex analysis that is residue theorem. Since I told you in the introductory lecture that Kausik's residue theorem based on this question of 20 marks, sorry, uh, mainly maybe 20, 15 marks, yes, I call it, it's 15 marks. Equation of 15 marks was there. Okay, so till now we have completed the analytic function, CR equation, and one topic is homogeneous equation. That is not mentioned in the UPSC syllabus, but I have covered this because in 2015 means paper. This is a question based on this homogeneous statement. Okay, so today in this lecture we will be dealing with the Cauchy's residue theorem. Very important topic since you know that this is a 15 marker question very simple question no worry ok so we will learn this the question was that integrate this function here c is missing integrate this function e raised to power z plus 1 divided by z into z plus 1 into z minus iota whole square dz this is the curve this is the curve c this curve says that mod z equals to 2. This implies that the circle with a radius of 2 unit. So this is the center at a region. So, so take a take a, a circle of radius 2 unit. So this will be the plus 2 iota. Sorry, this plus 2 and this is minus 2. This will be plus 2 iota and this will be minus 2 iota. So that denominator part of this function, this denominator part, okay this denominator part signifies that the location of poles and the poles are present at z equals to 0 z equals to minus 1 and z equals to iota but you know at z equals to minus iota sorry z equals to iota how many poles are present two poles not one poles it's the multiple pole present at a single point okay since you know that all these points 0 minus 1 iota all these points or you can say all these poles lies within the circle because this is the one unit so this is the two unit radius and zero is somewhere at here and one will be somewhere at here and minus one is here and minus one be one will be here and plus iota will be at here and minus of iota will be at here okay since all these points those who are located in the poles region are located inside the circle when these poles are in, uh, located inside the circle since these poles will results in the residue what will be the residue we will be studying this so according to the residue theorem we are required to calculate the integration at <coughs> some specific pole since let's we'll just take example if you know that uh, this uh, just say there is alpha the pole at alpha is present okay the location of pole is at alpha at alpha it is not alpha it is just location of the pole location okay i am writing here it is just the location it is just the location okay so assume that a pole is present at z equal to alpha then the function will be z minus alpha into f of z just multi just do the multiplication and put the value of z equals to alpha in formula and you get the residue at that specific pole now in this question there are three poles z equals to 0 z equals to minus 1 and z equals to iota so residue at z equals to 0 we are calculating so the residue will be equals to limit z tends to 0 z multiply by the function itself e raised to power z plus z over z into z plus 1 into z minus iota whole square so this z will get cancelled out and now just put the value 0 in this function is complete function now what you get you will get minus 2 so the residue at z equals to 0 comes out to be minus 2 now we proceed further <coughs> sorry residue at z equals to minus 1 so this will be equal to z tends to minus 1 just uh, take this to uh, this side this becomes z plus 1 into f of z 
so this will be get cancelled out these two function will be get cancelled out so just put the value of z equal to minus 1 in this function and what you get after simplification you will get this so residue at z equals to iota but as you as i already told that at this point there are multiple poles because more than one pole more than one pole is present at iota okay at iota two poles are present this iota and number of poles are two now the formula will be limit z tends to alpha this is the general formula i am writing z minus alpha raised to power n i am just generalizing the things if suppose n poles are present but in this question only two poles are present suppose if n poles are present then what will happen then z minus alpha raised to power n into f of z just do the derivative of this complete function one time less than the poles number of poles present okay jitne bhi pole present hai usse ek kam differentiate kar do is complete function ko okay and the number of time you differentiate by that numbers factorial just divide this complete function n minus 1 factorial suppose if you are having the two poles are present in this question so you are required to do the derivative one time and divide this complete function with one factorial okay so by this this statement will become <coughs> sorry z tends to alpha uh, sorry iota and uh, just uh, multiply this function d by dz by uh, why i written this d by z only one time derivative because how many poles are present only two poles are present and i told 2 minus 1 times so 2 minus 1 equals to 1 so i am uh, doing the derivative only one time z plus iota z this function will be this and into this f of z these two terms get cancelled and derivative of this function by which means by u by v method by u by v method so what will be the derivative of u and u by v the derivative of u by v will be equals to v square v as it is dot dot means multiply this will be du minus u as it is derivative of v okay this will be the derivative of u by v so just do the de derivative and uh, multiply this whole by one factorial by because the number of time you derivate uh, uh, do the derivation just put the number of time factorials of that number so now you get e raised to power iota plus 1 into iota into iota plus 1 just do some simplification and uh, after this so iota should not be in the denominator part so we are required to rationalize it so i do the rationalization and uh, after doing the simplification i get this answer okay now you can also try and you will get this answer same so now we are no, the statement was we are required to calculate the integration of this function so how the integration can be calculated of this function the integration of this function can be calculated by just multiplying this function by 2 this is 2 this is 2 2 pi i into the sum of all the residues what is the sum of all the residues minus 2 at z equal to 0 this at z equal to minus 1 and this is z equal to iota just do the simplification and do multiply this function by 2 pi i you will get your answer this was the question for the 15 marks in the upsc mains december 2015 examination okay very simple question you can earn 15 marks with very ease and it's not a one question the such type of question appears regularly in the upsc mains okay so do the practice from the question paper and you can download the question paper from the upsc site upsc.gov.in just log on to this website and download the paper of previous years and try to solve out the questions of uh, similar type and uh, you will be getting no problem this is you can say uh, just bit bit lengthy you can say because you are required to do the some uh, such type of calculation is there uh, but, but in the previous years you will not finding so much of calculation very easy question you will be finding okay so this is this is that is for this particular lecture this is only for the only this much is for this particular lecture and uh, in the next lecture we will be discussing about some common uh, some next 
theorems like i will be doing the cauchy's integral theorem this is very much related to this cauchy's residue theorem okay i will be teaching this in the same fashion but some difference will be there and in the in one lecture i will be doing this complete power series and taylor series okay i will be solving this so that's it for this lecture thank you very much for listening this video please do subscribe and like this video and spread the word thank you